Hi, this video is about artificial incubation of finch egg. In that particular video, I incubate strawberry finch egg and I will explain what I did during the incubation period. I have one pair of strawberry finch and my pair lays two clutch of egg and first clutch was not fertile. Then I changed the meal and uh, subsequent clutch was fertile but my uh, female lost most of her feathers so I decided to put those eggs inside the incubator. One of the important observations of mine is if the male doesn't have breeding plumage don't let him breed. Probably egg will not be fertile. My incubation temperature was 99.5 to 100 degree Fahrenheit and the humidity was 65% until day 10. Then I raised the humidity up to 80% and I used wet napkin and I put those napkin inside the incubator which increased the humidity a little bit up to 80%. Out of the six tiny eggs, I broke two of them myself and one is broken by the incubator auto rotator. Those eggs are too delicate, you can break them easily. So never use your bare hand. First of all, this is not hygienic, you will infect them. So always use egg holder. If you don't have egg holder, then you can use plastic spoon. Exactly on the 14th day, two tiny baby hatched out. They are too small. So after they hatched out, I kept them inside the incubator because they need high temperature and high humidity. The newborn baby always need high temperature and high humidity. Newborn baby temperature was 99.5 degree Fahrenheit and humidity was that time 85%. And after every week of their life, I reduced the temperature by 5 degree Fahrenheit and also I reduced the humidity a little bit. Now let's talk about their feeding. First three days. I feed them every hour. It started from 8 a.m. morning to 10 p.m. evening. Another important precaution is never give them water directly. So you can dilute their food 90% water, 10% hand feeding formula. And on the subsequent day after the third day, I feed them every two hours around the clock from same time like 8 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Their hand feeding formula should have high protein content, at least 25%. And if you have difficulty about that much protein content, you can use the egg white. You should put them always inside the incubator or brood or whatever it is. Never let them outside more than two minutes. On the 13th day, I think they are big enough, they can survive outside the incubator. So I put them in a nest box, and which was really bad idea. Until their full feathers grow up, you should not let them stay outside more than 5 minutes. On the following morning, when I opened their nest box, I was terribly shocked. They are not alive. They are dead. I was really sad for them. Last 13 day, it was my crazy 13 day. I feed them every two hours. And now I am really, really sad. I was really shocked that I could not all my tears. I cried. Still, I feel sad for them. It was my mistake. 